Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Eric Candy here today. We are back on PTCGO taking a look at another Sword and Shield deck for the upcoming format. And today we're switching things up, we're going to meme it up a bit with Luxio, going to get some good old fashioned item lock going today. Uh, this is actually uh, based on a list I found on Twitter a couple weeks ago, a Japanese user posted, I thought this concept looked really really cool, want to kind of try it out here on the channel, show it off. I have made some alterations to the list that they had used, but the core concept still the same and if you guys do need any cards for this deck or any other ptcgo codes you guys can head over to ptcgostore.com use the coupon code rare candy all caps one word at checkout save yourself some money on some codes and of course our patrons over at patreon.com slash rare candy tcg also have an exclusive code to get an even bigger discount so i'll have a link down below to those in the description for you guys to learn more but getting back into the actual deck that we have today, let's take a look. So we have a 4-4 Luxio line. Luxio is a card that initially actually saw a good bit of hype, I think, or a reasonable amount of hype back when Ultra Prism first came out. Card really hasn't done much, uh, despite having a pretty cool attack. But it has Disconnect just for a colorless energy is 30. Your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand during their next turn. So this doesn't seem like much, especially if you guys aren't familiar with Expanded, where something like Seismitote EX has been very popular. But Item Lock is a very, very powerful effect, even if you are doing a lower amount of damage like this, uh, just because I think there are a lot of powerful item cards you do want to shut off in the current format. Quick Ball, Metal Saucer, Poke Gear, Acrobike, etc. So this is actually pretty good. And shutting off all these powerful trainers, uh, we also have, of course, Custom Catcher, Pokemon Catcher, Great Catcher, which uh, is actually really important to show off for this particular list. So this is fine, um, but we definitely need some other ways to kind of take prizes because just doing 30 with Disconnect is really not enough to close out a game. But one thing that is very important to point out, we are playing the Shinx with the Evolutionary Advantage ability. This is honestly kind of what makes this deck kind of decent. Uh, but it has this ability, if you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. So of course, uh, there's a lot more incentive to go second now uh, with the recent first turn rules. So if your opponent goes first, they can't play any supporters. That means they might not draw into some of those item cards like quick balls and such that they might want to play. So people's first turns are generally going to be less explosive than they have been previously. So if we choose to go second, we can actually get this lock up and running very quickly before our opponent really has a chance to play many cards out of their deck. So that's going to be the main uh, you know, Pokemon that we have, but we have some other kind of backup attackers that are dark type. We have two copies of the new Sable IV. So Sable IV, playing it for the Crazy Claws attack for two dark energy, 10 plus 60 for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Well, you know, Luxio really doesn't do too much damage, but it does enough damage to make Sableye a very strong cleanup attacker, which is nice because uh, even just the 30 damage from Disconnect without any damage modifiers is going to make Sableye hit for 190. So that's already pretty solid. And again, that's not factoring in any of the damage modifiers that we play as well. So Sableye is going to be one of our main cleanup attackers that we have in the deck. Uh, we also have one copy of Eveltal GX. This is another two prize sort of cleanup Pokemon. And we're playing it basically just for Doom Count GX. It's going to be our GX attack that we're going to be using in this deck. If your opponent's active has exactly four damage counters on it, that Pokemon is now knocked out. And thanks to the new Vitality Band that we got in Sword and Shield, that's going to allow Disconnect to do exactly 40 damage. So this is going to kind of make the deck tick. We can just get off one Disconnect and then come in with an Eveltal GX and take a big maybe three prize knockout on a tag team or whatever it might be. Uh, then from there, we were playing one copy of Spirit Tomb. This is one of my inclusions I've made to the deck. One thing I have noticed is that sometimes if you're forced to attack into the, the same Pokemon multiple times and you get off uh, the 40 damage number to abuse Eveltal, the deck becomes a little bit sketchier to actually clean up knockout sometimes. Sable IV requires two attachments, which can sometimes be a pain to get up and running. So Spirit Tomb, I'm playing this. It's a single energy attacker that can actually hit for decent amounts of damage. And we can just have it sitting on the bench throughout the game using that building spite ability uh, throughout like turn after turn. So once during each turn, we may put one damage counter on this Pokemon. And then Anguish Cry, Temp... Ang English Cry, sorry, 10 plus 30 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So it's a single attachment Pokemon that can come in the late game and do a decent amount of damage if we do need to get some extra pressure on a little bit more quickly. 
And then from there, two copies of the Dene GX to round out our Pokemon for the Dene change ability. This is actually a card when I saw the initial list. I was like, the Dene, that seems like kind of ballsy for a one prize deck. But of course, since we have Luxia, we're shutting off Great Catcher, Pokemon Catcher, etc. So Dene is actually going to be safe on our bench for basically the entire game. See, going on to a couple of the other key cards, we have four copies of Electric Power. It's going to be one way we can augment our damage output a little bit. Uh, to make our Luxios hit a little bit harder. Uh, we have four Pokemon Catcher, one Great Catcher, just to give ourselves some options of who we want to hit into. Of course, I mentioned we have the Vitality Band. This is going to allow our Luxios to hit better numbers. Two copies of Air Balloon. This is going to be one of our retreating methods that we have in the deck. And then from there, we also have two copies of Adventure Bag. This was an inclusion that was in the original list I found. Seems kind of cool. It gives you basically two more outs to retreating on turn one because if you don't start your Shinx, it's absolutely imperative that you get it out of the active spot. So we have the two Adventure Bag, uh, plus two Air Balloon. That's four outs to a switching option. Then we have two Switch on top of that as well. So we have plenty of ways to ensure we can get our Shinx or Luxio into the active spot. Uh, one copy of Chaotic Swell on the deck as well. We really don't have a particularly great stadium we want to use like i really don't want to play just one shrine in the deck so I, I felt like if we only have space for one stadium we're going to play the swell uh especially if we run into something with lysander labs that can be pretty bad for us so the swell is going to be good at shutting off things like that uh everything else pretty straightforward that is going to be the the list we are going to be trying out here i did also forget to mention we have Mimikyu, of course to deal with um you to mute as well um, but yeah, so that's the list we're trying out. Let's head into some games and we'll show off how Luxio is going to look in action, okay? What's up, Davros1323, if you're watching this? Uh, looks like they are going to get to go first. That's fine by us. Our opponent probably doesn't know what we're playing. Now, unfortunately, we keep... I've been starting... Uh, I've been on a bad streak starting a lot of non shinx Pokemon lately <laughs> when playing this deck. Uh, but we have a bunch of retreating outs, guys. Um, and this hand looks pretty decent, actually. Um, despite the horrible Evelto GX start. So our opponent has a Vulpix on the bench. Now, that actually is a bit annoying for us because... Uh, you know, one of the things that Luxio is good at, it shuts off great catchers, uh, Pokemon catchers, all that stuff. It does not shut off Ninetales. That's definitely going to be an issue for us. So let's see what our opponent's going to do on their first turn here. They did get down their one quick ball. Now, they probably don't know what we're playing. Um, so hopefully they don't get any items to play down. Like, hopefully they don't go for, like, a de dead A change or anything like that. Uh, and they do have a skateboard. I hope that they don't put it down. Okay, that's definitely not good for them. And we top X switch. Busted, busted. So we'll just communicate. Put Luxio back in deck. See what we have. We have. Looks like we really didn't prize any Pokemon here. We have both Vitality Band and deck. We have our Swell in deck. That's definitely going to be good. Shutting off Giant Heart. Yeah, as far as I could see, nothing really super crucial. We prized one energy. I think that's the only thing that might be um, an annoyance. But So do we go for the E-Power? And I think I want to. And we're just going to go for the Marnie here. Uh, well, that's kind of annoying, unfortunately. I would have liked a Vitality Band or, like, I really want to get a Knockout on Jirachi this turn or have a Dedenny or something like that to uh, keep digging. But it's okay. We still got the turn one lock. That's going to be the most important thing here. And now our opponent can't play down that Escape Board they, uh, that they held onto last turn, so... We're going to see another Stellar Wish, so let's see what they're going to get here. And they do get a Fiery Flint. Not really going to help them out too much, but they do have a Welder. And they do have another Energy. So they, they would have still had an attack on their turn. So it's, maybe it's an okay thing that... Um, 
that we actually get knock out this Jirachi. It's going to give us another turn to get set up. Now, do we get Mimikyu up? Because we only know what we're playing against. Is this going to be just like... Um... Try to think what abilities they might have. If this is like Mewtwo Mew or something, we might want the Mimikyu, but I don't think it's this. Probably just like Freshizard. So we'll just get rid of the Mimikyu here. All right, so we'll just go for a Great Ball. Grab another Luxio. Um, what do we sure we'll do that? We get Spirit Tomb. And we'll get this thing down. Now, if we want to, we actually could attempt to go for this Vulpix and try to knock that out. But I mean we could do that. We would have to burn a Dedenne. Oh, it's the 70 HP one. That does make things a little bit more annoying. So maybe we won't this turn then. So I think for the moment, we'll just go for the disconnect here. Just kind of chill in this hand for the moment. And we do get a prize in the process. We get a research. Not too great since we're just going to like toss this hand anyways next turn, but that's fine. Man, our opponent's like doing really good on welders despite not having access to Jirachi or any items. Okay, so this turn we need Vitality Band. That's the big thing we like just absolutely have to have, I think. Oh, we did forget to use uh, Building Spite last turn. That's definitely my fault, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we'll just promote our boy Lexio here. We do get air balloon that's good so we'll get the down on eve veltage x so we'll go for a quick ball get rid of professor's research grab i kind of want to get down an energy preemptively on sableye this turn if possible we could do that i don't hate that um okay. well i guess our chances of drawing sableye and shinx are the same off this research but i think we're gonna be playing for the vitality band and go for the and go for the lock i think that's my game plan uh this turn so we're just gonna go for the may as well play the switch we have free retreat so give ourselves the option there and yet yeah, we're just gonna go for the professor's research Okay, and we do get the Vitality Band. That's actually really, really big. And we have the energy for Sableye as well. Let's see, we have a Great Ball. We do find Shinx. That's also good. Let's see, I'm going to use Building Spite. That way I don't forget this turn. <laughs> that was definitely my fault last time, guys. So we'll get that down. Adventure Bag. That seems fine to me. And we'll get this down on Luxio. And yeah, I like this hand. So next turn we can go Doom Count GX Marnie and hopefully limit their options a lot uh, and make it so that even though they, they're probably gonna get their items back, hopefully they won't have a good response uh, at, at the low hand size that we're gonna give them. That is kind of the idea at least. Okay, so we definitely need. So do building spite real quick. Oh, we do need an energy for Doom Count GX. We've already gone to I think three energy. So sure we'll get down Shinx. We'll do that, and we're just gonna go for Marnie here. So we need energy, or we need a way to keep digging. Okay, so awesome. That worked out about just how we wanted it to, actually. So we'll do this. 
and I think we just go for the old Doom Count GX. I don't think there's like we could try to dig for uh, not giant hearth, but chaotic swell to prevent a giant hearth. So I kind of don't hate that, but I think I think we're just gonna hang on to this for the moment. Kind of want to save the quick ball to allow us to go for the Dene when we really really need it. So here we get a Marnie that's also good, and a Dark Energy. I'm fine with both of those prizes. So our opponent does get down Jirachi, and they do have Heat Factory. So if we... Ooh, and they have Victini. Oh my god. We gave them a ridiculous four cards off of that Marnie. So let's see how many energy. They have five in there, so... Yeah, Victini. Not doing too much damage just yet. Here they are going to attach to Vulpix. And just hard retreat, okay. Okay, and they do have nine tails. And this is where things get a little bit sketchy. Okay, and just a pass over to us. So they did they were not able to mount a, a counterattack on their last turn there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use building spite. So we'll just get down energy on Luxio. And here, yeah, we just get the victory screen. So yeah, I felt pretty good about, about this one, guys. We had the lockup, you know, going right when we needed it. We had the Marty Doom Count GX knockout. They're pretty much fired off like how it probably should. So Kerwin's calling the flip, which we do win. Um, no, we would definitely not like to go first. So let's see what we're going to be playing against. Oh, man. <laughs> Sableye V-Star is so bad. But we do have a Quick Ball and a Communication, so we actually can guarantee the Luxie right away. So let's see. We are playing against some sort of Metal Debt with Chaotic Swell, so it's probably some Zacian archetype. Uh, if it's Lucario Mel Metal, we're going to be in some trouble. I don't think we beat that. But if it's ADP, I actually think we have a decent chance uh, of beating that deck, though. Especially if they don't start in ADP or get one into the active. Yes, we will draw for Mulligan. Didn't really do much for us. So they are going to start Drachi now. Hopefully they don't get down to Skateboard. Well, I guess it, let's just wait and see what they're playing before we start uh, playing hypotheticals too much over here. So we do see a Zacian. That was pretty much expected, guys. Uh, but we see an attachment on Zacian. That's fine with me as well. And a reset stamp. That's a bummer. Uh, I mean, we had the the Shinx Luxio energy combo at the very least. Okay, so we are going to guarantee ourselves. Um, a balloon. But we really, really need to hit a Shinx off of this Great Ball. Okay, so we're gonna go for this first. Uh, I think I actually might go for just two balloons here. Um, Cause I really want to thin extra hard to sure, ensure we can get Shinx. Let's see what else we have. Do we have both of our switches? We only have one switch. It's actually kind of sketchy getting rid of both balloons. Um, yeah, we'll just do the one for now. Prizing the switch makes me a little bit anxious about <laughs> tossing them. Uh, so unfortunately we did not get what we wanted. Yeah, our opponent definitely did a good job with... Uh, with, <laughs> um, that reset stamp. So I think we just, um, hmm. Do we go for the catcher? And I'll say sure. So that at least takes the option of using Metal Saucer and stuff like that away. So go for the research. 
So we really, really need... Damn. Uh, we're gonna have to toss away so much energy. It's just so annoying. So you do get a Shanks. That's cool. And... Yep, we're just gonna do this. Go forward to Denigy X. And we'll go for the E power. So yeah, we've already gone through a ton of energy. That's the one thing I really don't like about the spot we're in right now. And we do get the Luxio, just barely. So yeah, our initial hand was a lot better, but we still kind of got there, guys. It was a little bit more awkward, but we still made it happen. Um, so sure, we'll just go for... I think I'm actually going to hang on to the E-Power. Because if they have Mal and Lana, that would be really bad for us. I kind of want to save this for, for making our math work out a little bit better. So we'll just go for Disconnect. And we should be safe for another turn, allowing us to get down an attachment on this Sable IB, which is something I really do like. So I'm, assu like, I'm assuming we're going to see an attachment. Okay, we're going to see a Marnie. I'm actually cool with that because I wanted to research, but I really didn't want to get rid of more energy here. Now, if they can whip energy and off the Intrepid Sword as well. Okay, so they do have the energy there. And they do hit it. So next turn, we are definitely threatened to be, um, you know, knocked out. Let's see. So this turn, I might even consider going for Jirachi and trying to knock that out. So sure, let's do that. Cool. And we are going to have to dead a change. Unfortunate getting rid of a Luxio in the process, but we're going to have to make it work. So we need E-Power this turn. And we do not get it. That's, that's a bummer. But we do have the Dark Energy. That's definitely good. We do have another Shinx as well. And I'm actually going to discard this Great Catcher right away. Because we really need to make sure we can hit uh, an Energy or a Supporter off our um, top deck. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to start building Spite here just to give us another potential cleanup attacker if need be. And we're just going to go for Disconnect here. So if our opponent has Malo and Lana, that would be one thing that would help them. Um, hopefully they don't, though. That's I We really need a turn to like find a supporter or a way to have energy. So we're going to see Stellar Wish from our opponent. Going for Air Balloon. I'm sure that's not what they want to see right now. And if they have a, a Marnie again, I wouldn't say no to that. I actually would really love to see another Marnie come down. And I'm still curious, like, what variant of, of Zacian is this? Is this, like, the Lucario Melmetal? Is it ADP? Is it, like, the... Is it straight Zacian? Or is it playing Berserker? Still some questions about what we're going up against. Yeah, our opponent really hasn't played many cards either, so... They have not been able to reveal to us really what they're they're, they're working with here. Okay, they have an Aurora Energy, so this is going to be ADP. So really good that they were not able to set up the ADP. And they have a Marnie, that's great. That's exactly what I want to see, actually. So we need a Supporter and or Energy. Okay, that's actually great. We can, we can make do with both of those. And so actually what we can do is we can switch into the other Luxio, take a knockout, preserving our Luxio with the Fine Band here. And just an Intrepid Sword. So we're going to use Building Spite before we forget about that. Let's switch into the Dene.
And sure, we'll do this. Get down Chaotic Swell as well. Now we could like try to bring this up, but I just want to take a knockout on this Jirachi. So now all we have to do is knock out ADP and one Zacian and that is going to be the game. How many Marnies have we played? We have not played a single Marnie. Interesting. We only have 10 cards left in deck. Maybe we have some prized, if that's the case. Uh, either way, this Zacian is definitely going to get nuked on this next turn. But I really do want to be able to go Marnie, knock out with Table IV. Oh, jeez. They're playing Yelgrunt? Oh, what? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Well, that now makes things a lot more interesting. Huh. Very interesting. The Yelgrunt's actually super spicy here. So I think we might even try to go for Catcher this turn, if that's the case. Try to get the 40 down on here, use Eveltal in the next turn. So go for the Billing Spite. So see, how many energy have we gone through? We have one, two, three. Ooh, so we've gone through seven. Okay, so what do we do? What do we do? We will go for the, the catcher. We do flip tails. That's fine. Uh, honestly, our opponent might not even be able to attack this turn anyway, so... Yeah, we're probably fine just doing this. We will communication. Let's take a look see what we have left in deck. We do have another energy. That's definitely good. We need two more energy probably to close out this game. We'll go for a Shinx here. And yeah, we'll just do this. And we'll go for another disconnect. Oh, I should have checked how many Marnies we had in deck while I was using communication. So again, down to nine cards, no Marnies. So because ideally we want to go Marnie, knock out all at the same time if possible. So we're gonna see research. What did they toss? Got rid of Metal Saucer, got rid of Switch. Tag Call is also good. Got rid of two Switch. That's actually really good if we are going to break the lock. So we're just gonna see Intrepid Sword. All right, so. Um, so right now we're hitting what? 130? Yeah, so if we're taking a knockout, I think Spirit Tomb is probably the better Pokemon to take a knockout with here. And... Sure, we'll just do that. And we'll just go for the Anguish Cry here. So our game plan, knock out this ADP. We're gonna try to get it to get stuck for a turn. So we see Electro Power and Mimikyu. No sight of any Marnies yet. That's definitely a nuisance. But next turn, like they're probably gonna knock this out. So from there, our win condition, I think is just 40 with the, the Luxio, then Eveltal on the following turn win. Or not win, I guess, because we, we would need to get it down on the Arcistaga Palkia. Crushing Hammer. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we lose, guys. Honestly, I don't... Because we have two energies in play. Five there. Yeah, we literally only have one more energy to close out the game. Well, 
I think we may have lost this one as a result. That's, <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Yeah, I think that's it. Like guys, I, I really don't know what we could do. I mean, we could attack with Sableye. I mean, that's literally the only thing we can really do this turn. Yeah, that's... Well, like, even if we get anything back, I just don't know what we would even want to get back here. Yeah, I think they got it. The Literally, the, the crushing hammer heads, like, made all the difference in the world. Like, we needed every last energy in our deck to be able to make this happen. So, we'll give them the well played. They got this one. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up our look here at the Luxio deck. As you guys can see, this deck is very interesting. Uh, sometimes, you know, getting the turn one lock is so strong, it just kind of shuts your opponent out of the game a lot of the time. But also too, like, this deck strategy can be shut down. Like, if you're playing against any deck that plays any healing, like, if, they, if they're just playing, like, one Audino V, I think this deck strategy probably just, like, falls apart. But nevertheless, it's, it's definitely a pretty fun deck for maybe League Challenge, maybe even a League Cup. Not sure if I would bring this to a Regionals or not. I think that would be a little bit risky, but the deck definitely has some promise, uh, and I've won a decent amount of games with it so far. As far as the actual list itself goes, I think one of the things I would maybe consider finding room for is either a Ordinary Rod, a Dark Energy, or a uh, Energy Recycle System. That's something I wouldn't mind just because we are tossing our hand away a lot of the times, and sometimes that does mean we're getting rid of energies that we need to close out a game with so that's something i wouldn't mind or even maybe one copy of hustle belt since we are playing the spirit tomb and the adventure bag already uh that can maybe help us find that when we need that so those are some kind of my closing thoughts on the deck overall hope you guys did enjoy this video of course if you guys did feel free to like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com, it would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.